Hi. Hi. Today we're going to demonstrate the software POMQM, uh, the forecasting module of it. You would start by clicking on the icon on your desktop. The drop-down menu opens. Select Forecasting. Click New. Time Series Analysis. Identify the number of past periods in your time series. Click OK. You can change the name of the variable to the default is Demand. You can change it to Attendance or sales or anything else that it may be. Also, the name for each of the data values is past period 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can also change these. I will randomly pick some numbers. At this point, you can select the method of analysis. Let's choose weighted moving average. Automatically with that, you will get um, the number of periods to average. Let's keep it at 2. And you will also get um, the weight that you want to assign. For one period ago, let's go ahead and use 5. For two periods ago, let's go ahead and use 2. And at this point, you're ready to solve. If you wanted to change and go to 3, we can now change from one period ago that I can give it a weight of 5, 2, and let's say this one is 1. The decision maker has the choice or the option of changing these weights. When you click Solve, several results windows open for you. The first one that pops up is the forecasting results. It tells you uh, some of the vital statistics such as MAD, MSE, standard error, or MAPE, and it also gives you the forecast for next period. Under details and error analysis, you see the data that was entered plus what the forecasts were, error, absolute error column, um, squared error column and percent error column. The date, the values in each, um, the error information in each column goes into computing um, the various measures of forecast accuracy. For example, bias for this method is 0.88, MAD is 0.88, mean squared error is 0.83, and mean absolute percent error is 0.13. No standard error is available for this method.